what was wrong with your order, ma'am? That was a long conversation about some wings. You you ordered steak and potatoes. You got eight wings. And that was a long-ass conversation about eight wings. What was the conversation about? Oh. Oh, you order eight wings, you get two drinks? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> They're giving specials on Saturday night down here. Is that an Easter special? <laughs> you two are friends from college or high school. Where'd you guys meet at? Huh? You met her through your sister? Like, like with the ER or the A? You got to ask black woman that, because you'll be like, I know her from my sister. Oh, your mom or dad. No, no, I met her in eighth grade. She's a friend of mine, my sister. Not a sorority sister? It's a sorority sister? So it's not your blood sister? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was going to say. You guys met in college then? Where'd you guys meet at? Your nephew's birthday party. And then, what were you doing there? <laughs> How old was your nephew? He turned six. You met her at a six-year-old's birthday party. And you guys became lifelong friends. And now you're having wings and free second drinks on a Saturday night at the Improv. Look at God. You showed up at that party thinking, I got enough friends, and look. How, how old is the six-year-old now? 18. Met him 12 years ago. And where's he at? What's he doing? What college? I got a feeling he could qualify for a college. I don't think the ACT or the SAT is too stringent. What school's he at? BCC? <laughs> Woo! That's a tough one to get into. <laughs> I know his parents are so proud. Oh my God, you're going to be the first one. The first one in our family to go to college. That BCC, baby! <laughs> BCC! <laughs> Man, BCC, though. When I first started doing stand-up, like 20-plus years ago, whoa. I knew some girls at BCC. <laughs> Head game crazy. <laughs> three for three. Messed with three girls at BCC and every one of them. I was like, God damn, what the fuck are they teaching you at that school? <laughs> That's why I got excited when you said it. It brought back good ass memories. Like, <laughs> Room for you, bro. How long have you guys been dating? Eight years? What the fuck? Is your name Patience? Oh my God, who dates eight years? Holy shit. God damn, what, what year was that? You guys met in 2015? Where'd you guys meet at, the LeBron going away party? <laughs> he laughed. <laughs> that was so long ago. Where'd you guys meet at? Through a friend. Is it a, did somebody run a train on you? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Yo, you, you mind if I get that number? I'm fucking with you. You guys met at a party or something? Your sister's boyfriend you, you, is your friend. That's your homeboy. So he was like, yo, I got this chick, man. Pussy fire. 
She got a sister. I'm figuring it runs in the family. <laughs> you call him a motherfucker. <laughs> How many sisters do you have? Three. Wow. There's a lot of good pussy running around this area. <laughs> They're both, no, I'm not asking for me. I'm just fucking around. Motherfucker, I'm good. I got, I got my website. I'm straight. I wasn't inquiring, motherfucker. They're taking. They better be. All that good pussy in your family. I didn't think they were single. That's a hard one, like, to laugh at, because it's hard to get mad. Because I'm basically saying your whole family has amazing pussy. So it can't be, you can't be like, motherfucker, you disrespect me. He's like, no, he's giving you all the respect. <laughs> like, if you're a bad pussy, that's, that's a disrespectful comment. I'm like, yo, your family got some bomb shit. Kind of got to laugh about it, you know? Well, good luck in the future, you guys, since you're so committed. <laughs> sure, that's going to be an amazing wedding. Not engaged? Nothing. I know you'd be mad at Christmas. You'd be in your stocking like, thanks. A Tariq Hill jersey, just what I wanted. No, no, he signed that shit, though. He signed that shit. Well, he got a ring. I ain't got one. And you guys are married? Engaged, see? <laughs> they probably met like two weeks ago and shit. <laughs> how long how long you guys been together now? How long have you been engaged? Years. That's, that's, not, that's pretty normal, I guess. It's a little behind, but it's pretty normal. <laughs> not compared to them. These motherfuckers, you moving at a fast pace. Slow down! Where'd you guys meet at? Oh, you met on Bumble? Some people date on that, huh? Cause like Tinder's like the fuck one. People get on Tinder to fuck. They ain't trying to date. They're just trying to hook up and fuck, and I leave town tomorrow. <laughs> Bumble's the dating one. That's cool. I always wonder, like, like, I can't indulge in that. One, I was married for a long time, and I just can't do it. I can't. Motherfucker be like, this ain't you. I'm like, all right, well, I'm not gonna fuck a fan. I can't believe I'm sucking your dick. I'm like, okay, you just ruined it. What the fuck? It's weird. So, well, I'm glad you guys came out. You found each other off the internet. What was like with Bumble? That's like the bees, right? And you said, you, like, your B has a profile, and it, what does it fly around? And he's sitting there with, in some honey. <laughs> Will you have, like, a bumble theme um, wedding? That'd be kind of cool, though. Like, they'll sponsor it. That'd be good. Like, some bees. All your bridesmaids are dressed as bees. <laughs> All the men are stingers. Jeez. That'd be cool. I think that'd be a cool wedding. Mm -hmm. Just asking. Fuck. Now, are you two married? Two? Yes. You, you all four know each other? Yes. Hi, church again? <laughs> Met church? <laughs> Where'd you two meet at? A Blue and Oaks parking lot. A park, a what? A what parking lot? What is it? I can't. Fuck. Moo and oink? The fuck is moo and oink? Moo and oink? Is that where the thick girls hang out? Moo and oink, baby. Come get these thick girls at moo and oink. Moo and oink? What kind of store is that? It's a grocery store? 
called Moo, M-O-O, and Oink. Oink, oink. Moo and oink, like a pig, oink. Why would you name a grocery store that? And you met her. She had her cart going to the car. And he was behind her. Stop. Stop. Come on, girl. Be my little Charlotte's Web. Be my little Charlotte's Web. <laughs> she was loading her car up. <laughs> you walk dead up on her. That's how motherfuckers gonna get robbed. You motherfucker. <laughs> how you holler at somebody at Moo and Oink parking lot? Like, what's the line? It's a butcher shop. It's a butcher shop? Oh, you just get me. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. Yeah, I saw you in there. See all that meat you was getting? I saw that meat. You like, you like dark meat? You like dark meat? Ooh, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, this ain't no, I ain't no chicken wing motherfucker, baby. I'm straight, I'm straight thigh, motherfucker. I was a butcher shop, okay. No, this dude was really animate. Butcher! Butcher shot! Butcher! Like, you didn't see him, he was at the table. Motherfucker! No, motherfucker, there ain't no fucking grocery store, he gonna fuck it up. He gonna send him in to Sierra, ain't no motherfucking Sierra out, moon, oink. Meat, motherfucker, ribs, chicken, fish, beef. Like, he you didn't see his face, this motherfucker was hot. Butcher shot, butcher! Sorry about that. Huh? <laughs> Anybody else got anything you want to ask? Huh? What's Kevin Hart like? He's black, short. He eats food, drinks water, puts on clothes, and goes to work. I'm pretty sure he gets showers, gets showers. And just like everybody else. No, Kevin, he's a great guy. I, I only, if I say something bad about you, you gotta be an asshole for real. I, don't, I like Kevin. Kevin. We always been cool. <laughs> Nothing bad to say about the motherfucker. Cool. <laughs> he called me like the the. It was funny because when when the, the my divorce hit like TMZ. It was the people that I didn't expect to call, call. Like, Kev was one of the people to call, just checking on me. But it was so funny, too, because he was like, Kev was like, hey, man, if you need help, Gary, need some, uh, you need, uh, what do you say? Um, he was like, with the lawyer stuff, if you need some legal advice or any help, I can help you there. If you need, need any money or anything. I said, no, nah, I'm good. I'm a grown man. I handle this shit. But then my ex was trying to get $44,000 of the alimony. I, I wanted to call him back going, so how much you talking, though? Like, you... <laughs> Can I get like a Jumanji 2 residual check or something? <laughs> I would never ask anybody for money. Here's the thing about asking motherfuckers for money, too. It changes the relationship. Because when people ask me for money, I'm like, ah. Oh. And, and we all know this story, too. Like, it's the age old. You lend people money. They don't pay you back when they say they're going to pay you back. Then they get mad at you for asking for your money back. What they're, here's what I've, I realized what they're mad at. They're mad that you know they ain't got their shit together. That's what they mad at, because they be putting on all this front like they got all this shit going on, and you know what it's real like. I said, motherfucker, you just asked me for money. You ain't got your shit together. I would never ask a motherfucker for money. Fuck that. As long as I'm fucking, I'm good. I don't need shit. As long as I'm at a Marriott. Yeah. Who inspire me? These some deep ass questions. Shit. <laughs> I said, like, Def Jam, really? I always knew it, though. I always knew. It wasn't like 
oh, I wonder what I'm going to do. I'm talking about elementary school. I ain't lying. I used to tell girls growing up, I said, you should date me. I'm going to be famous. They'd be like, get the fuck out of my face, Gary. I said, all right. I'll be seeing them on Facebook now, like, tried to tell you. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I, I don't know. I just always want to do it. Oh, man. Now, are you, are you two married also? Just dating? Boyfriend, how long you guys been dating? Seven months. Oh, this is new, new. Where'd you guys uh, meet at? Karaoke. You met at karaoke? What was he singing? Pop that pussy. What song was it? What song were you singing when you met? Oh, you don't sing? You just watch? You know, when I started doing stand-up, I started at karaoke bars. A lot of people don't know that. Because they had a microphone. And like people got to know, like, there was a place called El Torito in San Diego. On Wednesdays, it was karaoke night, and people always, they knew. They go, oh, that's the funny motherfucker. He's going to tell jokes for a couple minutes. I don't know why I shared that, but I just felt like we had a karaoke <laughs> bond. Neither of us sang. Are you old enough to be here? Yes. How old are you? 19. Really? Damn that's your family? That's your dad? That's that your mom? <laughs> 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 I was wondering why dad's been really laughing the whole show. <laughs> But I've been watching the whole show like, what the fuck is the age limit at this show? <laughs> oh, they snuck a motherfucker in and shit. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. Are you in college? A UT? Where you at? MCC. What is it? Uh, MCC. MCC. I watch ESPN every day. I have never seen MCC on ESPN. What does that stand for? McClinic Community College. Not ringing a bell. Not ringing a bell. Well, good luck at your anonymous university that nobody knows outside of McClinic. It's a McClinic or McClinic? McLennan. Okay, thanks. Looks like you got some alumni. <laughs> it's in Waco, class of 2012, the South Why was everybody so vocal? It's in Waco! Well, I'm glad you got in. I know admissions must have been tough. Let's see, Harvard, Yale. I'm gonna go to MCC. And don't, don't, don't let your parents act like they're disappointed. You saving them a lot of motherfucking money by going to bleed. I, I got one in college, out of state. Oh my God. I wish my daughter went to MCC at this point. I mean, I've had all the shit on. I have the hoodie. I'll be right there with you. Wake up, bitch, MCC. <laughs> Saving me a bunch of money at MCC. That's why dad's laughing. You go to MCC. You don't, don't you go, you don't go to Texas. You don't go to, everybody goes to Texas. You be different. Step out of the crowd. I don't know, Dad. I really. There's so many good schools out there. MCC's the best. <laughs> See, Mom was probably wanting to go somewhere else. Mom's like, no, go here, go here. Well, I know how dads are. No. He's looking at tuition like, whoa. 
I'm not, listen, you, you, you're an adult, even though you don't look like it. You're old enough to make your own decisions. But as the man of the house, um, you know, I think MCC is the right decision for this family and yourself. I know dad was high-fiving himself, and I'm going to MCC. <laughs> He's calling all his buddies up. <laughs> Beer's on me, boys. Maybe at the clubhouse. <laughs> What's the mascot? Uh, what? A Highlander? That was a TV show. What is that? It's like... There's, there's only, there can only be one Highlander. Thank you. Boy, the alumni is deep here tonight at NCC. Waco, there can only be one. One Highlander. He was so adamant though. No! There's no S. It's the Highlander. There can only be one. <laughs> Really, really, it was really important to him to get that out, though. <laughs> there can only be one. So that sounds like something you say to a girl, you know? You like this dick? There can only be one. <laughs> Call my dick the Highlander. <laughs> I would say I used to say that to my ex-wife, but I'd have been lying. You guys, you guys, I don't understand this crap. <laughs> you, can, you can go some directions, but other directions. Oh, whoa! <laughs> we enjoyed the Narcan Duda, but the Highlander, no, dude. <laughs> He's Greek, right? He's Roman? Isn't Rome right next to Greece? Yeah. Italy's right next to Greece, right? Yeah. Like Wisconsin's right next to Chicago. <laughs> yeah, so. Xanth. <laughs> What's your middle name, Stargazer? <laughs> Elise? What's your last name? <laughs> what is it? Rugs? Bugs? Your last name is Bugs? B-U-G-S? B-U-G-E-S. G-G. What? B-U-G-G-S Bugs. B-U-G-G-S Bugs? There's so much to unpack in your family tree. I'm scared to ask what your sister's name is. <laughs> what kind of avatar name you got? I know it ain't Kim. What is it? Chandra? Chandra and Xanthia. You got another sister? Just two of you? Chandra and Xanthia. Coming to get some dip. Some regular ass. No, that's not our table. No. Is that for Chandra? Xanthia? No. The oh, fuck you bring the wrong dip to Chandra and Xanthia's table? She's been through enough. She's seen vampires biting drug addicted blood. Her sister married a fireman, didn't even fuck him on the truck. You are, are you retired? You will be. Do it, man. Before you retire, take it to the station. Get on top of that truck and fucking release that hose. Put this fire out! 
and you take all of it like you're on fire. Your skin's burning. <laughs> you saved me. 